Hampton's home for news. We are back now with a worm warning. The hammerhead flatworm has been found right here in Houston. And the warning from experts comes with a couple of don'ts. Okay. Don't touch it, and not that you would, but don't cut it in half. Hmm. KPRC2's Devin Clark is live in Sugarland tonight with that story. Devin, a lot of people will be looking a little closer at their lawns after this one. Christine, Chris, the hammerhead flatworm could reach up to a foot in length, but their very thin bodies make them easy to miss. Still, wildlife experts say beware because one could be lurking right under your foot. Well, as the name suggests, a uh, hammerhead, it has a, the shape of a hammerhead shark. But this creature that ranges from light to dark brown in color lives on land. It's called a hammerhead flatworm, or by its scientific name, planarian. They typically live in the soil, under rocks, mulch, um, you know, nice shaded, uh, warm, wet areas. Wildlife biologist Stefan Kuhlman says that we may be seeing more of them now because rainy weather forces them out of the ground though they're not new to Texas. They've been here for, for a very long time, over 100 years. They're originally from Southeast Asia. It can reproduce by laying eggs or detaching part of its body and turning into two worms. It can regenerate and start growing from from there. The same could be the case if someone tries to cut it in half. But general curator for the Houston Zoo, Kevin Hodge, says that is not the only reason why you shouldn't touch them. These chemicals that they exude can, can be in irritant to your hand or your skin. Neurotoxins, both Hodge and Kuhlman say ward off predators and may also help in digestion of their favorite food, the earthworm. They'll usually um, line up their bodies with them and uh, possibly use their neurotoxic venom. Um, they, they cap both ends of the worm to kind of hold them steady as they um, digest them. But with the earthworm being an essential part of our ecosystem, animal experts say that the hammerhead flatworms becoming more and more prevalent could threaten agriculture as we know it. It hasn't reached all of the United States, uh, but their numbers are increasing. You know, the longer that they're here and we don't have a, they're not being eradicated, the numbers are going to increase. And if you happen to come across one in your yard, you can use citrus oil, salt, or vinegar to kill it. You can also use gloves or a stick to pick it up, put it in a plastic bag, and seal it. Reporting live in Sugarland, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. And Devin, looking at some of those pictures, it looks like a snake. I know. <laughs> not, not a worm. I know. Man, throw Devin. a margarita on it. That's <laughs> Seriously. what you do. <laughs> Devin, we appreciate the warning tonight. Thank wow. you.